So what else can we do now but to get behind the Raptors, who are, of course, winning and going on to round two? And that's where we will find Adrian Gobriel with more on that. But for me, Adrian, it's really not a consolation. I am <laughs> melancholy today. <laughs> Yeah, from that cold, desperate, depressing feeling at ice level, Pam, it's being replaced by hope on the hard court. There's another circus in town, and this one is a winning show, at least for now. The Raptors, for the first time in franchise history, winning a seven-game series in five games, dismantling the Magic and those playing ball here today, feeling pretty good about themselves. Lowry gives it up. Mismatch. Back over to Kyle. From Scotiabank Arena to the Greater Toronto YMCA on College Street, Dino fans have a different kind of swagger about this year's squad. How fun is it for you sitting at home watching this team? I love it. I love it. Oh, it's unreal. You know, it's uh, it's exciting for the city right now. Uh, the Leafs are out, so they've become like the number one. They're the team to watch. You think this could be the best Raptors team in history? They can be. They can be. The era that they're in, the style of play. It's not just fans feeling like this team has a chance to do something special. Following a demoralizing defeat, Orlando's coach believes the Raptors' ability to do it at both ends of the floor make them a legitimate threat. He also had this to say about the standout play of Carl Lowry, the heart and soul of this talented team. This is the best chance they've had, and he's always been a winning player in any way, but I mean, I think he understands this is his best chance so far. And... Uh, He's playing at a really high level. Even the enigma that is Kawhi Leonard couldn't help but flash this toothy grin following last night's convincing win. What does that smile mean that, to that you? That smile means we're going to go far and we're going to sign him again in, years, in the next <laughs> few years. So I, I want him to stay. He's, he's a good player. What does that smile say to you? Oh, man, he's like, he's shocked that they won too. You know, he's like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I want to stick around Yeah, we might, we might be around for a bit. Who knows? <laughs> And now it's on to the Philadelphia 76ers, a coach that a team that Coach Nick Nurse says is going to give the Raptors all sorts of problems, though he says they are ready for the challenge. And if Raptors fans are looking for some way to sleep better at night, consider this. Kawhi Leonard has never lost against the 76ers, going 13-0 against the Ballers from the city of brotherly love. Now we head on City News. We're going to talk to some lifelong Leaf fans and see if we can convince them to come over to Raptors Nation. Yeah, that's right, Pam. Thank goodness for the Toronto Raptors. I wanted nothing to do with covering a Leaf story today. It's just too early for me. I still can't with that team. One team I can get on board with, of course, is the Raps, as we heard earlier in the show from fans, even opposing coaches, saying this is the realest rap team we've had in the entire history of the franchise. Now, can lifelong Leaf fans, though, come on board? Well, we headed out to one place today where we found those who bleed blue and white, taking out the frustration to see if they could be converted. How would you say your emotional state is today? Well, it's still a bit tender. Um, I've been trying to, I've got good supportive team and people around me, but I mean, I feel uh, raw. Raw is the word I'm looking for. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, Derek, and that could be the Toronto Raptors. Are you willing to follow that light? That's basketball, right? It is basketball. Whatever. <laughs> you can't go there. No. There are leaves. It, what would it take for you to leave the ice and walk towards the hard court? Well, I think it's probably time. It's a maturity thing that I wasn't really ready for, but I think I'm feeling stronger. And thanks to your support and really your haircut, it's really made, made a difference. My hair has made a difference many times. Thank you. Yeah, I'm feeling more invigorated already. Can you be can converted? I, can I just show you that there I have go. a Raptors t-shirt right there, and I am a proud Raptors fan as well as a Leaf fan. So you're ready to follow them? That's right, absolutely. What would you say to Leaf fans today who are feeling dark and depressed, and if there's a light at the end of the tunnel that is the Raptors, what, what should they do? That light is the Raptors. It's not a train coming the other direction. <laughs> and it's, it could be a one-way ticket to happiness. Hopefully. 
Uh, thankfully, my hair making a difference yet again. Now, the bandwagon begins <laughs> this Saturday around 7.30 or 8 p.m. They haven't confirmed yet the time that we know. Saturday evening, game one, Raptors versus the 76ers. Should be a good one.